All right, first quarter action, and after Sparta goes three and out on their first possession, it's High Point's turn, and Brandon Carr finds Tim O'Malley in the flat, but coming up and forcing the fumble is Jake Davis, and it's Anthony Longo on the recovery, and it's first and 10 Sparta deep in High Point territory. Then it's Matt Seville of Sparta finding an open Nick Shalella on the sideline for a 12-yard gain down to the Wildcat 13-yard line. Then Sparta would punch it in here as Matt Seville gives it up to Lucas Feria, and he takes it in from five yards out to make it 7-0 Spartans with nine and a half remaining in the first quarter. The Spartans would get it back after a high point punt, and off the play action pass, it's Matt Seville, who would end up finding a wide open Teddy Fisher on the slant route, and Fisher would turn on the Jets and take it 54 yards to the house and make it a 14-0 Sparta lead early in the first quarter. All right, so high point is down by 14 and looking for some points and Brandon Carr is looking long for Mark Smolin, but jumping the route and taking it to the house for the pick six is Eric Reinhardt to make it 21-0 Spartans with six and a half remaining in the first quarter. Wow, what a start for Sparta. After another three and out by High Point, it's Sparta again with it, and it's Matt Seville going to Teddy Fisher on the screen pass as he makes a couple of nice moves for the 18-yard gain and a first down for Sparta. And it's the Spartan ground game taking over here as Lucas Ferrier takes it up the middle, making a couple of nice moves as he rumbles for 25 yards all the way down to the Wildcat 15-yard line. And that 25-yard run would set up this one-yard touchdown run by Lucas Ferrier to make it now 28 to nothing Sparta with just under three minutes left to go in the first. The offense for Sparta would continue here, and this time they go to the air as Matt Seville finds a wide open Nick Shalala for the 38-yard pass play all the way down to the high point 13. And Sparta would cap a very impressive first quarter here as Matt Seville finds Lucas Feria open in the flat and he snags it with a one-handed catch and walks into the end zone for the 17-yard touchdown to make it 35-0 Sparta at the end of one. All right, second quarter, now we go. And new quarterback for Sparta, Anthony Aragula, comes in and he fires this strike to a wide open Lucas Feria and he makes a defender miss and takes it to the house for 67 yards and the score to make it now 42-0 Sparta. High point is punting and it's Teddy Fisher gathering it at the 47, following his blockers and cutting it across field, making defenders miss, making a couple of nice moves in the process, and he finds his way to the end zone for the 47-yard touchdown return to make it now 49-0 Sparta with seven minutes left to go before halftime. Then it's the Sparta defense wanting in on the action as High Point's Brandon Carr is looking for Tommy Hooker, but he's picked up by the big man, Dean Gannat. What a half of football for Sparta. Third quarter now, and it's new High Point quarterback, Mike Yaros, filling in, and he's looking for the long ball, but he's picked off by Chad de Blasio, and the Spartans have it first and 10 on their own 31-yard line. All right, we go to the fourth quarter now, and it's new Sparta quarterback, Jared de Blasio, finding in wide open Rob Tarleton, and he fights his way for extra yardage as he takes it inside the high point 10 yard line. Then on the very next play, Sparta would cap a terrific offensive night with this perfectly thrown ball by Jared de Blasio to Dean Gannat in the back of the end zone as Sparta would go on to win 55 to nothing to improve to five and one. And let's go down to the field where Jerry Morelli has the post game reaction. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a very good team win for us. Everybody contributed, you know, all sides of the ball and varsity and JV, so that's always good. Uh, first series, you know, we went three and out, and you never really want to see that, especially out of your first drive. But, uh, you know, after that, we came out, scored a touchdown. Defense picked us up with a pick six, and uh, overall, good game for us. It was all made by my blockers. I mean, if I, I wouldn't have been able to score without the blockers there. I just made a couple moves, and, but they did, they did the rest. Well, we uh, came out great from the beginning, and we were able to roll with that the whole game, passing, running, and uh, defense played great, and uh, special teams, too, with Teddy's punt return. So, yeah. I'm proud of where their kids came out. You know, we, we wanted to uh, come out strong, you know, get back on the winning ways. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the way our offensive line performed, quarterbacks, receivers, and uh, most importantly, our defense, too.